Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've made several videos on the duplicate distance, and and I completely understand this is my personal preference. But well, somebody sent me a file yesterday to work on, and they had their duplicate distance, which is right here, set at Corel default. And so when you make a duplicate of this, Control D, it moves it up a quarter inch to the right and a quarter inch to the up. That, I, I will never understand how that could help. Uh, and like I said, this is personal preference, but if you set it on zero, zero, and then you go up to tools and save that setting, now when you make a duplicate, it puts it right on top. And the reason I like that is because I can cursor over, I set my nudge factor on 10 inches, and I could change this. Uh, I could make you know, scallop corners, and let's just type in a number, well, that's too much, let's do, type in uh, two, and then I could nudge that thing over, and I could change things, I could take the smart fill tool and fill in these and, and you know, move them over and, and go on about my business, so I like, in if you disagree with me, that's fine, but this is my personal preference, is to use the duplicate distance as zero, zero. I'm, I'm, I will never understand why Corel's is 0.25, a quarter of an inch up and a quarter of an inch to the right. Very easily changed. Uh, you only see your, nut, your dip, duplicate distance when you're checked off something. When you're checked on something, it goes away. So if you want to try that, set it to zero, zero. And there's several reasons you could... Let's just do this right here. Let's make a duplicate and move it over 10 inches. Now let's make this box 4 inches by 4 inches. And let's make it with a black here line. And let's make the black line, you know, two points. And then I can move it right back. And it's in the center still. You haven't changed anything. So give that a shot. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.